Did you know in 2023, nearly nine in 10 games sold were digital downloads? That's a lot of large file sizes to download over what is usually outdated internet infrastructure. In other words, a bandwidth bottleneck. So what can we do as consumers to spend more time playing and less time waiting for a download bar to fill faster? I've got a few suggestions. Hey everybody, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and this time we're focusing on game consoles and their slow like an elderly wizard with an encumbrance penalty game downloads. For the Switch and Switch 2, you can tinker with the Switch's settings to increase the maximum transmission unit, or MTU, slightly increasing download speed. To do this, go to System Settings, then Internet, Internet Settings, and select your network. From here, pick Change Settings, find MTU down on the list, and change 1400 to 1500. While this next step is speculated to be useful for all consoles, it's been confirmed that the PS5 downloads faster while resting. If you aren't using the console for anything else, I know it's tempting to watch it, but the easiest thing you can do to improve download speeds is put it in rest mode. One thing you may be able to do in the PS5 options is adjust the QoS, or quality of service. This will depend on your internet service provider. View your PS5 settings in connection status to identify its MAC address. Then log into your router, type your IP address as the URL in any browser, and look for the QoS settings. If you find them, choose your console based on the MAC address you noted and change the priority to highest or maximum. Your router will prioritize your PS5 over all other devices on the network. Things that will help with all consoles can be as simple as limiting yourself to one download at a time. Do you really need to download Black Ops 7 and Outer Worlds 2 at the same time? Yes, the answer is yes, no. You should make sure that your console's firmware is up to date before initiating any large downloads. Being out of sync can affect system performance. Speaking of performance, if your download is stalling, you might be able to get it moving again by pausing and then reinitiating to reconnect to the server. You can change your console's Wi-Fi frequency to 5 GHz, which is a higher frequency band that offers less interference and faster speeds, but at the expense of signal strength. The 5 GHz band struggles to penetrate walls and other materials in the home, so it's best used when the router and the console are in the same room, ideally adjacent to each other. The more you know. Keeping your console and router close together is generally good advice, though better yet is to ditch Wi-Fi and use an Ethernet cable. Every console of the current generation has an Ethernet port, although the original Switch and Switch Lite will need adapters. There are plenty of options on the market for fast Ethernet cables, so take your pick. That's all our tips for today. Hopefully, by the next episode, you'll have downloaded all the games you need. Do you have anything that you found helpful for your console's download speed? Let us know in the comments, and we will see you next time.